Uh, the challenges, as you rightly said, are numerous. There's an infrastructure challenge, there's a manpower challenge, there's a regulatory challenge. Because if we talk about, let's say, a road route like Delhi to Chennai, there are 73 checkpoints which fall in between. And 50% of the time that it takes for goods to move from point A to point B is spent idling on checkpoints. So that is the kind of downtime we have on Indian roads. So to overcome these kind of challenges, we have invested very heavily in technology infrastructure. And that helps us plan our movement of goods in a very, very good Apart from that, we have also invested in a big way on uh, manpower because this is a manpower intensive industry. So uh, our manpower investment and uh, the kind of training uh, program that we have for our manpower is very intense that ensures that the people uh, you know, are, are given their best and they are very efficient. And apart from that, obviously, because supply chain logistics is our forte, so we also do route planning and route streamlining very well. So for every uh, you know, route plan that we have, we have route A, route B, and route C. So in case there's a particular route on which, let's say, there's a jam or there's a lock, you know, that there's a, you know, let's say, some kind of congestion, what we do is we normally we have a rerouting of that. So we have a route B, plan B for that, and we also have a plan C for that. So which ensures that the shortest possible route from one place to the other is usually taken and any contingencies are taken care of. Also for moving goods from one point to the other, we also even know and we also even tracked using GPS that which, you know, the number of petrol pumps, how many number of petrol pumps are going to fall in the left, how many are going to fall in the right. And that helps us bring down the downtime in a big way. And regulatory barriers, of course, you can't do too much about them, but then of course you can ensure that you are very well prepared with the paperwork in advance so that you can you know, get away with the uh, unnecessary delay as much as possible. So we try to, you know, kind of overcome these small hurdles by being very well prepared. And uh, you know, these things, these small things go a long way in terms of ensuring that the downtime is less and that our on-road time of the vehicle is higher. Also, our fleet of 4,000 odd vehicles has, you know, more than one driver in each vehicle. So we have two or three drivers in each vehicle. That ensures that the vehicles are 24 by 7 time on the roads. You know, there's never a stoppage. So these are the kind of initiatives that we take.